Chris from RhinoTech here with another informational video on some of our products. What we have here that we're showing is our M102 recirculating system. This unit here will take place of this bottle and this brush. We all know what this is. You take this bottle, you're integrating the screen wash, you're spraying it on the screen, scrubbing it in, flipping the screen around, spraying it on, scrubbing it in. All that chemical is going right down the drain. With this system, that's not going to happen. Let's take these, let's get rid of them. Alright, let's go over this system here. M102 recirculating. What you're going to end up doing is taking your screen washer integrated, filling into this box. And what this is going to do is it incorporates an air pump, a filter, canister filter, filter paper, and a scrub brush. So let's kind of walk through it here. So after you put your uh, screen washer integrated in, kind of like our SW197, once you put that in there, you're going to slide this unit underneath your washout booth. So from there, you're going to hook up the 2 gallon per minute air pump, which really requires somewhere around 30 to 40 psi to run correctly. And also, you know, if your chemical actually runs low from evaporation or whatever, it's an air pump. It can run dry without ruining it. So better than an electrical pump. So once you have this underneath your washout booth, you're going to take, hook up the air to the air pump, of course, and then you're going to turn it on by pulling this trigger. The fluid will then come out of this scrub brush. You can scrub it into your screen, flip the screen around, scrub it in. All that chemical is then going to go down the drain of your washout booth, and it's going to flood into the unit. And so where it starts is, first of all, you have a filter paper on top of this. And with this unit, you get a 50-yard roll of filter paper, whether it's a 5 micron, 10 micron, 20 micron, all the way up to 50 micron, depending on how much you actually want to filter. So from there, there's also a perforated basket here that'll catch anything that this filter paper may have missed. Inside this unit is two chambers. Once it goes through the filter paper and the perforated plastic, it'll settle into one chamber, overflow into another chamber, and then back to the pump. And once it hits the pump, the pump will actually pump it into this canister filter for added filtration and back through the brush. Alright, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Take care.